A mother wolf left her cub with a farmer. Then the man did this. Sebastian Wells was a farmer who lived in a rural village near the wilds of Alaska. The man loved his job as he loved to spend his time outside in the fresh air caring for his livestock. He could think of nothing better to do with his life as he was able to be his own boss as well as enjoy the beautiful wilderness and forests that sat at the edge of his farm as much as he liked. However, one morning when Sebastian was working through his daily routine, he came across something astounding. It had started like any other day for the farmer. He had woken up early and started on his daily chores, letting his sheep out of the barn and into the fields to graze. As usual, when it was almost time for his lunch break, Sebastian made sure to take a quick walk around the perimeter of his fields to make sure that there were no broken fences or hazardous obstacles that could injure his livestock. On this particular day though, he came across something incredible. Sebastian had been walking by a fence near a section of the woods that backed onto his property when he began to hear a strange noise, almost like a dog whimpering. Curious, the farmer crept closer to the sound, only to discover a small wolf cub hidden amongst some overgrown grass. The cub looked to be only a few months old and was shivering in the cold. Worried that its mother might appear at any second and attack him, Sebastian quickly backed away from the small canine. He decided to watch from a distance to see if the mama wolf would come back for its baby. But after waiting a while, the farmer began to worry that something was wrong, as there was no sign of the female canine. Creeping closer once again, Sebastian took a closer look at the wolf cub and its surroundings, only to see a few spatterings of blood on the ground near the animal. The farmer followed the trail for a little while, only to find it led back into the forest. It looked like the injured female wolf had abandoned her baby, and a confused Sebastian returned to the cub in order to figure out what to do next. Knowing that the animal would perish if left alone, as it was too young to fend for itself, the farmer decided to pick the wolf cub up and take it back to his home. At first, as the man approached the frightened canine, it began to growl and snap at him. However, after some careful coaxing by the farmer, the wolf was soon in his arms and the two were on their way back to Sebastian's home. Once inside the warm house, Sebastian finally noticed just how cold the cub truly was. It was shivering non-stop. Wanting to help the poor animal, the farmer quickly took it over to the fire that was burning in the hearth. He also grabbed some old blankets and wrapped the wolf cub up in them to help try and warm it back up. Once the animal's shivering had subsided, Sebastian thought that it must be quite hungry. Not knowing what else to feed it, the farmer simply got some cooked meat out of his fridge and gave it to the small wolf. However, the cub simply turned away from it. This worried the farmer greatly, as he knew that a wolf at such a young age needed its strength in order to stay alive. But no matter what Sebastian did to try and get the young wolf cub to eat, it simply wouldn't. To make matters worse, as the night wore on, the cub seemed to come down with some sort of fever. It began to shake incessantly, despite all of the blankets that covered it, and Sebastian was worried that it wouldn't last the night. But the farmer was determined to help the little animal get better, and so he decided to stay up with the cub all night, feeding it milk and water at regular intervals and keeping it warm. Finally, as the sun started to come up, the cub's eyes opened and its fever started to break. Sebastian was thrilled at this, as it meant that the cub had a much higher chance of surviving now, Throughout the day, the farmer made sure to keep an eye on the cub and took it with him as he went about his chores on the farm. As the wolf began to feel better, it began to eat more as well. As the week went by, the young canine was soon back to its full health and bouncing along with the farmer as he completed his chores on the farm. But even though Sebastian had become quite attached to the young wolf, he knew that he could not keep it. It was still a wild animal and not a household pet. Knowing what he needed to do, Sebastian decided to take the cub into the nearby forest one day in the hopes that the animal would find its mother. The farmer reluctantly left the cub in the middle of the forest and watched as it darted off into the trees, seemingly following a scent. Sebastian smiled, glad that he was able to help the creature before turning around and heading back to his home. Later that night, however, as Sebastian was reading a book on his couch, he heard a pitiful cry. He quickly ran to his front door, only to find the wolf cub sitting in front of it. 
Confused as to why the animal was back, the farmer led it inside and began to check the animal over to make sure that it was okay. Thankfully it was. However, it did seem quite nervous. Worried about what had happened in the forest, the farmer decided to let the young wolf cub stay at the house for the night, whilst also making up his mind to find out what had happened the next day. When morning finally arrived, Sebastian took the young wolf cub back into the forest in an effort to once again set it free. But instead of running off into the trees again, the cub slowly began walking forwards, checking back every few seconds to see if the man was following it. Curious as to what the cub wanted, Sebastian decided to follow the cub as it was clearly trying to lead him somewhere. The two ended up walking through the forest for quite a while until they finally came across a small cabin in the middle of the trees. It was here that the wolf cub began to whine, almost as if it was crying. Wanting to know what was wrong, Sebastian crept up to the window of the cabin and peered inside, but what he saw shocked him. Lying in a tiny cage in the corner of the cabin was a fully grown wolf. Sebastian immediately knew that this was the cub's mother, but what was she doing in a cage? At that moment, Sebastian suddenly heard two men walking towards the cabin from the other side of the woods. The farmer quickly retreated to the trees and hid behind them as he listened to the strangers. By doing this, Sebastian was able to discover that the two men were illegal hunters and that they were going to sell the mama wolf on the black market. Outraged at this, the farmer quietly crept to the cabin and went inside with the wolf cub following him as he went. Once inside the cabin, the mama wolf instantly perked up at the sight of her baby. Knowing he didn't have a lot of time, Sebastian quickly opened the cage in which the female wolf was trapped and ushered her outside, careful not to agitate her as he didn't want to be attacked. Once outside, the man noticed just how injured the mama wolf was. She couldn't put one of her paws on the ground and there were a few spots of blood on her fur. The farmer knew that he couldn't leave the two animals to the mercy of the hunters. However, only a few hours later, there was an angry knock at Sebastian's front door. Concerned about what could happen, the farmer grabbed his rifle before opening the door to see the two hunters he had discovered earlier. They told the farmer that they knew he had the mama wolf and that they wanted her back. Sebastian refused and told the hunters to leave. But the two men did not want to back down. Just as they started to approach Sebastian with their guns though, the sound of a police siren rang through the air. Moments later, a policeman showed up and told the two hunters to drop their weapons. The men did as they were told and were quickly arrested. It turned out that Sebastian had called the police after discovering the two poachers as he wanted to make sure that no other innocent animals were injured for their gain. Before long, the two hunters were imprisoned for poaching. Thankfully, it didn't take long for the mama wolf to heal once she had been seen by a vet, and once she was fit and healthy, Sebastian released her back into the wild with her baby, where they lived out the rest of their days in peace. What a beautiful story. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing tales.